Hi, welcome to in order retraversal example. Here, uh, I have taken simple uh, tree. The tree is having three nodes. So one is the row A, B, C. So three nodes are there. So in the three nodes, uh, A is the root and B is left side to the root. C is right side to the root. Then B is not having children. So I have mentioned with uh, null values and c also not have children so i mentioned with null values so now here uh, as per the procedure first we have to visit the left subtree start from the root so root is here a root is here a so a is passing passing as a root into the method so now uh, the root is assigned to the node so node is now a node is now a so for a we are checking is it null no it is not null so which is not executing now then traverse in order node dot left so for in order in order of node dot left a dot left so a dot left is now which is b which is b so a dot left is b so b is passing to the again the method in the recursive manner so now here as per the step i have given in this in this uh, code so b is passing as a root now b is passing as a root now so when b is passing as a root so now root is uh, b assigned to the node so now we are checking b equal to null no it is not null so which is not executing again for b again node dot left so for b node dot left is null so that is given here you look at here in order of b dot left b dot left is null so we are passing the null into the uh, procedure so now root is null root is null so node is assigned with the null value so now we are checking null equal to null yes which is true so which is returning nothing so that is the step given here so which is nothing written then so once it is over so b dot left is over now b dot left is over so for node a node a dot left is over right so now uh, for b dot uh, left is over so b dot left over then now b is available so b dot value so b dot value is printing here b dot value is printing here so b is printed then once it is executed then now still b is there so b dot right so b dot right is now again you look at this b dot right is null so we are passing the b dot right is null b dot right is null so now we are passing the null again so null we are passing into the root so we are checking null is assigned to the node so now we are checking null equal to null yes which is returning nothing so now which is returning nothing so this statement is executed so now for the b all three all three statements are executed this statement second statement third statement for all three statements are executed now once it is over now still for a for a, for b all three executed for a still pending this second statement is pending node dot value so node dot value is now a so node dot value is now a so now the a is printing a dot value node dot value is printing so that is printed here then third statement now a dot right a dot right is here what is the a dot right c so c is the a dot right so c is passing as a root node now so here uh, c is assigned to the node now we are checking c is equal to null no it is uh, uh, it is false so it is not executing now here now here the c is the thing so c for c c dot left c dot left you look at that in order of c is already called now we are calling c dot left so c dot left c dot left is now null so null is passing here null is 
passing here so for c dot left okay c dot left null is passing so now null is acting as a root acting as a root so now null is assigned to the node now we are checking null equal to null then which is true so it is written nothing it is written nothing then now next value next line is node dot value node is here c c is the node so c dot value is here c so c is printed c is printed okay so c is printed already a is printed in this location so after a c is printed after c is printed we have to call the node dot write what is the node dot write uh, c dot write c dot write c dot write is here we have to check c dot write is null so that null is passing into the in order method so again we are passing null we are passing null so again null is assigned to the node we are checking null equal to null yes it is true which is written nothing which is written nothing so here once it is over this this line so all the three lines has been executed for all the nodes for a also executed you look at here for a also executed all the three lines and for b also executed all the three lines for b also executed for c also executed all the three lines all the three lines so the algorithm is stopped by visiting all the nodes three nodes we are having all the three nodes are visited so the time complexity is for this algorithm we are visiting all the nodes uh, n number of nodes so the time complexity is n and also we need memory location to store all the n number of nodes so we need n uh, memory locations space Thank thanks for watching